Today, Bob Duchesne's Wild Maine visits historic Pittston Farm. This is over a century old. This is why people have been coming here for centuries. Even Native Americans used to congregate in this spot because this is where the North Branch and the South Branch of the Penobscot River flow together to join a Sabumic Lake. Historic Pittston Farm is one of the camps that Great Northern Paper used to have in the woods up here. It's the only one still remaining and it is historically preserved. Historic Pittston Farm lies before you now. One of the most interesting things about Historic Pittston Farm is you have so many different choices of lodging. You've got the main lodge, You've got the carriage houses, which is almost like motel units, and then you've got outlying cabins. All of Historic Piston Farm is well preserved, but inside this museum are a lot of artifacts from a century ago or more. Many tools of a day gone by are preserved here in Historic Piston Farm inside the museum. One particular artifact caught my attention. This may not go back a hundred years, but it went back a while. This is a steel can. centuries before European colonists ever got here. This was a major thoroughfare in the Maine woods. This is where the south branch of the Penobscot River, which you see, and the north branch just ahead come together right near Sabumic Lake. This is where Indians would come from all nations to trade flint from Mount Kineo. This is God's country up at Historic Pittston Farm, and when you get here, you can go to the chapel and thank him personally. Sabumic Lake. Up until the 1960s, they used to float a lot of logs down this lake. There's a causeway just down the lake from Historic Piston Farm. When you stay here, check this body of water behind me. Uh, first thing in the morning, maybe in the evening after supper, and just count up the moose. From Historic Piston Farm, this is Bob Duchesne's Wild Maine.